Um, sorry? Okay, so the next one is Waikapa, Papa Nui, and his community board. Ellie Jones. Kia ora, good morning. Kia ora. I left the dog at home today. Uh, look, no, here's a flatulence problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Long story. Took it to a community board meeting yesterday. It was awesome. <clears throat> right, so <clears throat> not a huge amount in this report um, other than just to give you uh, some positive news of some of the activity in, in the ward. Um, it remains, as I've said of, uh, over the last couple of reports, that the major issue in our ward is still um, the downstream effects management plan for the Christchurch Northern Corridor. Uh, we had a combined seminar with um, Central uh, Linwood. Yes, get, oh, so it's, I can only remember two at months, yeah. Uh, and that was very helpful, uh, very helpful. Um, we've been all over this uh, like a rash for the last probably almost five years now. Um, so, um, and, and to be fair, we know there are going to be some effects in the central ward on the edges of, of the CNC hitting the city. But, and I'll say this, the majority of the effect will be the communities in the St Albans Edgeware um, area, and that's why I think this has been um, uh, early on engagement with those groups. But we fully appreciate that it's important that both the boards work together, understand the issues, and work with the communities that are affected by this. Um, so. Looking at, um, and we've just finished our um, drop-in sessions on that, by the way, too, so around 100 um, submissions we've had, uh, and we had around 30 attend the drop-ins during the night, and uh, for two sessions, that wasn't around 15 on each of the days, so we had four, two at night, two during the day, so they were reasonably well attended, and the staff uh, and the CNC team had some really great discussions with people with other options and ideas. So we'll just pull through our, um, our presentation. These are primarily, uh, this is, I mentioned this last week, which is that uh, third lane going in. You can see the girders in the centre of the, of the bridge there. That work takes place at night with a very, very large uh, crane so they can close one side off to, to have the crane leaning across it. Um, there are videos on the NZTA and CNC website as well with some, with some amazing fly-throughs if you want to have a look at that. Uh, the downstream effects management plan, which I've just mentioned, so that's up for consultation at the moment. We will be hearing verbal submissions on that on May the 8th, um, so that's the key date. Uh, the St Albans Community Facility, I believe we are still waiting to hear on the resource consent for that, so that is still in process. Uh, it will be a variation on what was originally submitted because there were some changes required to the building. So we hope that's not going to be too much longer. The Bridgestone Reserve um, continues to, to grow and uh, further engage people in, in the community from the high school through to Rotary and other volunteers. It's a very cool project and um, well loved too uh, in the community. Um, I think I may have mentioned this last time, or did we? No, we didn't. Oh, this was really cool. So this was our um, edible, uh, community pride, sorry, uh, garden pride. We do two very close together. And just in the front there, you see the woman um, second from my right, or rather, with well, the walking stick. Yes, thank you, Christine. I haven't got my glasses on. I haven't got my long ones. Um, her name is Marie McCormick. She is 94, and she that she has been involved in these um, competitions and with the Beautifying Association since she was 27, and she has a certificate for every year that she's been involved mm. in the competitions. <laughs> And the woman sitting, oh, she hasn't got her there, has she? She's actually got a gardener who comes in every week and does the gardening for her under her instruction. Um, and she's not named on the certificate. Um, and I'm really sorry, I've forgotten her name because she's key. But what the gardener said to me was that she'll pop round sometimes, and even though Marie's not allowed to garden anymore, she'll pop round and see little piles of weeds around the garden where she's had a go. Um, because she's not, if she bends over, she can get dizzy and fall. So she's, she clearly can't stop herself. But there was some really wonderful people at that and it was an excellent event again. And it wasn't long after the shootings, it was the Thursday after, and we did check with people to see if they felt they could come out and we were really pleased that they wanted to and did um, because it was a really lovely community event. Uh, and then we had the Papua New Innes Edible Garden Awards. Our awards started this, just wanted to mention that. Very popular as well. And again, some um, really lovely people from residential homes to schools to preschools. It was, again, an excellent event. This was the St Albans Park reopening, which was held last 
Sunday. Uh, and those three women you see on the left, uh, the two on the right of that picture, are granddaughters of the chap who sold... Oh, sorry, yes, they are two. Thanks, Pauline. Yeah, Daphne. So Daphne's in the middle, and she's lived in the ward for a very long time and was there with her sister in 1950 when a tree was planted in the park and a plaque put down. So she related that story to us, which was lovely. The two women either side of Daphne are the granddaughters of the man who sold the land to the council. Um, and so it was really nice having that connection there. And we had a photograph with them and one of the youngest residents in the ward as well. So that was quite neat. Staff did an excellent job in, in, in getting that together. So that's so we're really just um, a ward that does lots of things um, with our community and takes photographs to come and show and tell you about them. So that's about all. <laughs> no, congratulations. It's very good. And I did like the dog at the community <laughs> board meeting as well. Um, would you like to move it, Mike, and second to Pauline? Are there any questions? Comments? Put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thanks Thank very you. much.